Let's break the ice over here. The Huracan is the easiest to drive, easiest to live with, and some would say it's the most plain Jane looking Lamborghini ever made. If that's a good thing or a bad thing, we'll let you decide. But today we're here to talk about the Evo rear wheel drive, which is the all new baby Lamborghini. And in the new age of supercars, this thing truly stands out. With all of the new supercars having turbochargers and electronics more advanced than most space shuttles from the earlier days, this thing, with its naturally aspirated engine, is a gem in today's supercar lineup. So today, let's see all of the features and all of the insane things that this car has. This has always been the party trick of the mid-engine Lamborghini and that is the engine and in the Huracan you find the 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 and this is probably one of the last times you will be able to hear this engine in all of its naturally aspirated glory because probably after the Huracan this platform is going to get electrified quite heavily with a hybrid system so maybe the sound gets subdued a little bit but compared to the supercars of today like the 720s, 480 and other turbocharged monsters this thing has stayed true to its naturally aspirated roots and in this configuration the rear wheel drive variant used to make 580 horsepower now it makes 610 horsepower and 413 pound feet of torque which is enough to shoot this car from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in around 3.2 seconds and if you get the all wheel drive variant that thing goes down to almost 2.9 seconds This engine has been around for almost two decades now. It started life in the Gallardo as a 5 liter and slowly got more and more upgrades until it became this engine found in the Huracan Evo. This has to be one of the finest engines to come in a modern day supercar. This motor can withstand almost anything you can throw at it. Many people have boosted this motor with a twin turbo setup and those cars can produce well upwards of 1500 plus horsepower and many twin turbo Huracans hold quarter mile, half mile and one mile records all across the globe. But this car isn't only about the straight line speed. The Performante, the car that the Evo takes a lot of inspiration from, beat the Nürburgring lap record when it came out. Mad Mike from Australia has turned an Huracan rear wheel drive into a proper drift machine. All of this that I just mentioned goes to show how well engineered and reliable this platform has become over the years. The Evo rear wheel drive has a lot of cosmetic changes compared to the normal pre-facelift Huracan. And let's start at the front end. It gets an all new bumper with a new splitter and that bumper is actually different to the normal all wheel drive Evo as well. Coming to the back end, you get an all new bumper and diffuser. The diffuser has become absolutely huge. That's because the exhaust pipes have been shifted upwards just like the Performante. It gets an all new ducktail spoiler which increases downforce and high speed stability. Not as much as the Performante. Uh, that's because it does not have the fixed rear wing with the trick ALA system inside but it looks kind of cool. Coming down to the wheels, uh, you get a lot of assortment of wheels in the new Evo rear wheel drive and the normal Evo. These are the Performante wheels finished in this beautiful bronze colour. And this is a Lamborghini at the end of the day. I don't have to say anything about the looks because it looks as crazy and as wild as a heavy metal band from the 80s. When it comes to the interior, the interior is just as crazy as it is on the outside. I mean, let's start off with the steering wheel. It's this beautiful hexagonal, pentagonal, whatever you want to say, shaped steering wheel and it looks absolutely gorgeous. You have your mode selector down here with the Strada, Sport and Corsa. And in true Italian fashion, you have the column mounted paddle shifters which are gigantic and they're made out of metal which feel absolutely beautiful. You have your turn signals on the steering wheel and not on the column. So if you want to go left or right, you just have to flick between this. You have this beautiful digital instrument cluster up in front of you. And since it is the Evo, the UI is a little bit different compared to the one in the pre-facelift Huracan. And you have a lot of different modes to select from when it comes to changing the tachometer, the speedometer and a lot of other things. No Lamborghini in the past has had a touchscreen unit in the middle, not even the Aventador, not even the pre-facelift Huracan. The Urus is a new addition, so that had it. But this is the first time a Lamborghini mid-engine car has gotten a touchscreen unit. And I mean, you can control everything from your telephone, your vehicle settings, your media and a lot of other things from this unit. And in true jet fighter style, you have this flip up switch to start the car, this reverse gear, which is like a 
maneuver lever for some sort of jet and these beautiful toggles over here for your hazard lights windows and a lot of other things all in all this interior feels special i mean i can't think of a interior that looks as crazy and as special as this The Huracan Evo has some very sizable upgrades over the pre-facelift car. Most importantly, it gets the LDVI system which stands for Please don't mind my Italian. Lamborghini Dinamica Vecolo Integrata. Or basically, it's a central brain that controls almost each and everything in the car. It monitors all of the tires, engine values, transmission values and a lot of other things and somehow translates it into consistent lap times or if you want crazy drifts depending on what setting you are in the huracan evo also gets rear wheel steering which increases high speed stability by turning the rear wheels in the same direction as the fronts and low speed maneuverability by turning them in the opposite direction all in all the huracan evo might be one of the last great supercars to ever be made even though it has enough tech to run a spaceship the evo rear wheel drive might be one of the last supercars to give you those analog feels with its naturally aspirated engine and rear wheel drive setup the huracan is truly the last of its kind thank you so much for watching this video follow us on instagram subscribe to us on youtube and do all of the other social media formalities so that we can keep on making these epic videos for you Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.